Welcome to our, our channel. channel. Let's, Let's do, do it together. together. This is our leftover turkey and I will gonna recook it into a new dish. I will just get the meat out from the bones and I will gonna cook it later. I will show you how will I gonna take it out. At first, I don't want to cook it with the skin so I have to take out all the skin. You can use the knife to take it out like that and I will show it to you once it's done. This is our turkey. My mom already took off all of the bones. Now it's ready to cook. These are the ingredients for our precious turkey. I will make it like turkey adobo, so with a twist. So uh, for my ingredients, I like to get the lemon. So everything is already washed. I wish my knife is sharp. <laughs> so I like to take out some lemon skin to get the real taste of um, lemon. That's why I like it. And we got also lemon juice and tell the rest of the ingredients. Hmm. I'm guessing this is the onions, of course. This is a new hmm. pepper. Yeah, that is pepper. And this is garlic, I'm guessing. It's garlic. This is too big for garlic. Okay. That is ginger. This is garlic. And what is these leaves? Bay leaves. Wow. So I like it to cut it. This way. So small like that. So it will really extract the aroma. And this one I will just leave it like this. So we're gonna put cooking oil into your hot pan. It looks like water, except it stays in the same uh, place, like slime. We're gonna put our ingredients. The stuff that we chopped earlier. Mm -hmm. And let's put it in the pan. Yeah, what did I put down? What? Uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. And now we're putting the ginger. Ginger. It's basically like you're making some eggs. No. Flipping and flipping and flipping. Mixing. And yeah. That is ginger. I like to put my stove on high heat. So you just basically wait until you smell the aroma. So that's the time that you put the next recipe. You hear the sizzling? Yeah. That's onions. And it I looks like the letter C. Yeah. The onions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you smell it? Mmm. That is the the skin of the lemon. Yes, that's of lemon. The thing I I forgot to tell you, I put the black pepper, and I will put the crushed red pepper. Just a little bit because it's really spicy. Mix, mix. Yeah, you have to mix that. And now it's time to put the turkey. So we're gonna put the turkey. Still a lot, eh? Yeah. You put the balsamic. Looks like wine. I mean the bottle. It doesn't really look like wine. Do you see a bottle, bottle like, of wine like this? No. We don't drink wine. Yep. We're alcohol free. Especially you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm young, of course I won't drink that. That is dark soy sauce. And I supposed to put the oyster sauce, but I round up that oyster sauce. I thought I have it, but I don't have it. <laughs> So you just keep cooking it, mixing it until everything is incorporated. And I'll just gonna put the squeeze of lemon. It looks just, like chicken. Yes, yeah, just beware of the, the seeds because the seeds, once you bite it, it's gonna be like bitter. 
B uh, see I saw the seeds now so I'm just gonna just take it out now we're gonna put our pepper I didn't know this green pepper exists that is to give some good smells and a little bit spice on our turkey yeah on the turkey that makes sense so I'm just gonna cover it and we'll check it later so I will put a little bit of poison sauce since we don't have the poison. Poison. Oh, how are you gonna poison us? Since we don't have the uh, oyster sauce, so I will just put that just one tablespoon. I will put also the chicken bouillon, also like one tablespoon. You guys will not regret this. It will be good and at the I end. also like to put some rice vinegar. So combine, I find it combining it with some balsamic vinegar, it gave a um to your uh, adobo. Give a different taste. So I uh, will use that uh, rice vinegar and there will be the balsamic and some lemon. The lemon zest. It's a good combination once you put everything all together. So this one, I will put in high heat again. A while ago, I put it in a medium heat. So it become more watery. I want this sauce to be absorbed by the turkey. So it's all gonna be more delicious. So I will just taste it now. And I will just cover it after I check the saltiness is still good. Yeah, I haven't put you know, salt, guys. So I still have room for, for the salt. So I'll always put salt at the end. So as you see now, you it become like this. So because I keep mashing it, the the big chunks of the turkey, so that's why it's become like this now. So if you see underneath become too dry, you can add some cooking oil. It depends how much you want. So me, I want to add some cooking oil and add some sugar because I want this turkey a bit sour and sweet and a bit salty and spicy i put some brown sugar and you can add up the balsamic vinegar or the rice uh, vinegar according to your taste and at the end i balance it with the salt so now it's almost done i will taste it final taste and i will see if there's still has room for the salt because remember the turkey that we put we cook it's already has salt and the ingredients I put, it also has some salt. The hoisin sauce. It has also some salt in there. So it's perfect. I haven't put any salt in here. But if you want to eat that with rice, you need a little bit salt because it's gonna be bland. Because me, my taste buds, I don't like salty food. I like salty food. Mostly I like is sour and sweet but not salty I like salty so almost done those yeah. yellow stuff is that the pepper from earlier yeah it become mush I have frozen chai and spring onions that I mix together I will put it on the top because it's already cold here where we are right uh -huh. so I harvest all my herbs I frozen some of them and some of them I put already for dry so that I have the good supplies of herbs during winter days here. So that's it, I'm done. I show the other side, the soup that we're making from the turkey. Look so, at that guys. Yeah, later I will blend those things, the carrots, except for the corn. I cannot blend the corn cob, right? I'll have to take it out. Mm-hmm. So you some. taste it, Dolly? So if you see, it doesn't look so fancy. But don't be fooled with the look. I know it's a bit spicy, but it's not that spicy, right? It's really good. Yeah, it's so delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I always want the, the sauce of the adobo be absorbed with the turkey. Because turkey, especially the breast area, has tendency to be dry. So this one is not dry at all. 
You can eat it with bread as a sandwich. Mm. See, my daughter cannot help herself. She keeps eating it. It's a, bit, it's a bit sweet and spicy and sour, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. She's even dancing while she's eating it. It's so delicious. Okay, bye guys. See you in our next video. Bye. Please subscribe. for watching see you in the next video